What's up everyone? Daniel here and you're watching The Nurse Photographer. Are you a foreign nurse and your USRN license is due for renewal soon? Good, because on this video, I will share with you a quick guide on how to renew your USRN license in a compact state. My USRN license is under New Mexico Board of Nursing and they sent me an email the first week of April reminding me that my um, USRN will expire at the end of May 2022. To renew my USRN license, I am required to accomplish 30 units or 30 hours of continuing education. One unit is equal to one hour, hence I have to accomplish 30 hours of CE. Now, please note that um, every state has their own requirements and number of continuing education. For example, there is a state that will only require you to accomplish 15 units or, 30, uh, or 15 hours of continuing education but will require you to um, renew it every year. As compared to New Mexico Board of Nursing, which will require you to um, accomplish 30 units or 30 hours of continuing education but will only let you renew every two years. Also take note that some states will require you to take um, specific um, continuing education topics where in other states they don't require certain topics. Just accomplish the required number of units, pay the renewal fee and you're good to go. Okay, so let's start with the email notification from your board of nursing. Um, first is you will receive this um, email from your board of nursing and basically they're just reminding you to um, renew your USRN license which is um, expiring soon. Alright, so the first step is to go to the website of your BON and make sure that you have an account in their um, BON portal. I'm pretty sure guys that you already have an account because if you pass the NCLEX, of course, you already have an account. So, um, as you can see here in my profile in the New Mexico Board of Nursing, um, my license is due for renewal by the end of May and I will click this apply for renewal. And then um, it will inform me that I have not yet accomplished any um, continuing education units. So I will just click OK. And then on the next page are the um, application instructions on how to um, renew or how to um, yeah how to renew your um, license and then just scroll down um, click on next and then there so as you can see on the next page um, there is a list here of um, the recognized approval bodies for the continuing education for nurses but um, if you look on Google just type in USRN continuing education and then it will give you the um, the websites where you can obtain the units okay so as you can see there is CEU fast um, nursing CE and nursingworld.org but as for me I chose um, net CE okay and we'll go over that for a while but before we proceed to net CE or your desired website where you're going to obtain your units um, let's go first to CE Broker, okay? So this is the second step. Make an account in the CE Broker because this will be the one who will forward your accomplished units to New Mexico Board of Nursing. So it's like this. Board of Nursing needs 30 units of continuing education. So on step three, you will select the website where you will um, accomplish the units that you need and then these websites when you accomplish your units they will upload it automatically to CE Broker which is step two and CE Broker will be the one who will forward your accomplished units to New Mexico Board of Nursing or your desired um, Board of Nursing okay so that's it I don't know if that's quite confusing but it's actually just um, three steps okay so step three is um, go to your desired website where you will um, accomplish your continuing education. Again, there is um, nursing, CE, and other websites. But for me, I chose NetCE because for me, I believe that NetCE is the most convenient and not that complicated. So here in NetCE, um, just make an account and then um, it will inform you the required um, number of units depending on your board of nursing and then just click um, X and then they will automatically give you 
30 credits and three courses that you need to accomplish. What I like about Netsy is that they will um, automatically give you topics that is equal to your required number of units. Okay, so this um, courses that they gave me is equal to 30 units or 30 credits, which is equal to um, 30 hours. So what I did, of course, because this is what I need, I just add to order. I just click add to order. And then after that, um, just pay for the required amount. Okay, so continue with the checkout. And then you will receive this um, special offer um, for me. I don't need this, so I just click no thank you. And just proceed with the payment, okay? So once you are finished with the payment, um, you can start studying for the courses, okay? And take note that after you finish each of their courses, um, they will require you to evaluate their courses, okay? So this is mandatory. Just answer the questions, guys. This is self-explanatory. Okay, so just proceed and then you will receive this. Um, just download your PDF certificate. And then it says after you accomplish your um, required number of units, um, it will reflect in your CE broker after 30 minutes. So it is not instant. You just have to wait 30 minutes or maybe sometimes it will require you almost an hour, but you just have to wait, okay? It will automatically um, reflect and you don't need to worry. Now, after you accomplish all your units, just like here on my profile, now, um, just leave that and then go back to your NMBON. Okay, so the fourth step is to renew your USRN license and pay the renewal fee in New Mexico Board of Nursing or again, your desired Board of Nursing. Um, in my case, if you look on my um, profile in my BON, I just need to click this um, continue renewal application and then I just need to accomplish these um, information. I just need to fill them up. This is actually just self-explanatory. And then once I accomplish all of these, I will just need to save all my data that I input. And then there you go. I will just need to um, pay the total amount of $110 for the renewal fee. And then I will make payment for that. So I will have this um, payment alert. Click proceed to the gateway and then enter your credit card details. Of course, I will block my private information here. On the next page, you will see that I'm done. All right, so I will receive a confirmation receipt and they will email me this and also don't forget to print your receipt. And then as you can see on my nursing portal, um, my license expiration date have changed already to 2024 and the license status is active. All right, so it's that easy. All right, um, I know you have seen the cost, but I just want to make it clear again. The net CE, the continuing education costs $49 and then my NM renewal costs $110. So the total is $159. The next step is to celebrate and order pizza and babati. All right. <laughs> okay, thank you again for watching and see you guys in the next video. Adios.